All right, what's up, YouTube? So this topic we're going to talk about is trading gold. I've been getting a lot of questions on, hey, what do you guys think about, you know, what I think about gold, what I see for gold. Sometimes we'll talk about it. Obviously, gold, gold, solid USD. Obviously, that's what they call it, gold spot slash US dollar. It's been on a major uptrend. I mean, it almost hit 2000 like on Monday. So it's just crazy where to see gold is going. But overall, like if you want to trade gold, make sure you have a decent amount in your account to trade gold, even a 0 0.01. If you're going to trade 0.01 lot sizes or even just micro lots, I would highly recommend having at least $1,000 in the account balance or even more, 5000 because you can make a lot of money trading gold, but also be aware that you can lose a lot of money trading gold at the same time if you are not prepared on the fundamental side, which there has been a lot of fundamental key events that has driven gold up a lot already. And so, I mean, if you look at what happened this year, I, 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 I believe, yeah, yeah, I did talk about this with US 30. If you looked at, you know, 2020, and I'm going to highlight this because this is very crucial, but 2020, here this this first candle which is january 1520 and you can see where it's at right now it's at 1958 so you're talking a over a 400 dollars increase in the value of gold and it's been driven almost over 500 dollars in value you know of the highest price of 1980 so if you look at the monthly chart and you look at the beginning of this year it's been driven a lot based on the fundamentals and if you look at what happened in the beginning of the year, the pandemic started slowly creeping in. And so that is the biggest factor right now, which is COVID-19 and also where the Federal Reserve is going to do, what are they, what are they, act, uh, what are they um, actually going to do to revive the economy. And also the big, another big factor is where all the central banks are doing to help uh, incorporate the currencies to actually have a much better value right and so as another big factor too where the central banks are going in on their own currency for each country so just something to think about you know on the back end and also on the front end of where fundamentals are being laid out and driven heavily on especially where gold is <laughs> gold has been up for so long and if you look at 2019 i mean here at 1280 that is pretty insane if you take 1280 and you line up 1980 that is you know it's 700 dollars an increase in value so that's pretty substantial where the amount of growth has been going for gold and where the investing you know it's a safe haven com uh, commodity and you have to be prepared where it's going to be driven for the remainder of the year but overall gold has been on a massive buying opportunity i wouldn't be surprised if they shoot it for 2000 and it's been on a bullish breakout i mean month after month after month i mean i mean the i mean this is the first bullish breakout another one another one and this is the biggest one so far a lot of people are asking like you know if gold is overbought obviously it is overbought if we put our side on i know a lot of guys are are still using indicators right so let's put our side on here because i want to put this i want to make this clear for for you guys for those of you that are using like stochastic uh what else let's do our side put our side here i'm gonna put macd here too um the relative strength index and i'm gonna put macd here and i'm gonna explain to you guys this is where people get caught up on you, you you look at all these three indicators, right? They're overbought. MACD's up there, Stoca I mean, Stochastic is up there, and RSI is almost, you know, well over up to 100. You gotta remember that RSI can hit 100 and it can go down to zero. Some of you guys need to look into this, especially if you trade RSI. Same thing with Stochastic, 100, right? If you look, if you zoom up, I mean, you can see how high it can even go. 105 down to zero. It probably go negative two. And very important to understand 
that they have these presets of numbers that you should look at if this is something that you look in, into uh, selling on a reversal strategy, right? A reversal pattern. If not, you know, what exactly are you looking at these indicators for? You know, and so you have to really dive down and look at where price is driven. I talk a lot about price action. I talk a lot about where I'm headed for naked Forex. Uh, my current my current state, uh, my current strategies is naked Forex with candlesticks and price action. So I don't talk a lot about indicators, but if, you, if this is something that you've been using and you're still pondering uh, if gold is still going to be a strong sell, who knows, right? I mean, we'll have two days left of July and you have to really dive down to what is your primary goal for trading this pair. And if you can't handle, you know, the downsides of this pair, you shouldn't be trading it because a lot of people get really emotional with this pair. And this is by far the craziest pair so far of this year besides the pound. Let's see what else. Wall Street, if you trade US 30, uh, if you trade, uh, what else? Um, US 30, gold, a little bit on used to JPY, but pound has been on a massive fundamental move. And then now Euro is starting to pick up its, uh, its momentum on fundamentals with the, with the European Central Bank. So just a few pairs, if you look at it precisely, you can see the massive moves of the bullish or the bearish engulfing candles, especially on the weekly and the monthly, uh, weekly and the monthly candles on those charts, on those time frames, because that's where you're going to get your most money unless you are scalping with 50, 100 standard lots and you have like million dollar accounts, then obviously you don't need to be looking at this. So, but that's it for you guys. I just want to make this clear. I just want to showcase where I'm seeing for gold, where this is headed. You have to understand where the fundamentals are playing out for this year. And don't forget that the pandemic is still going on. Uh, political tensions are still going on. Central banks don't know what they plan on doing to revive the economy for each country. And also the presidential election is coming up at the end of this year. And so you have a lot of different factors going to be driving gold up even further because currencies are taking a toll and not a lot of investors are, you know, putting money into currencies. So, so I'm talking about like U.S. dollar here. Who knows where U.S. dollar is going to go? But if you look at U.S. dollar in a monthly, this is U.S. dollar in a monthly. You can clearly see where U.S. dollar is headed on the monthly chart. So it's outside the bulk channel. And you can see how far it's been driven down. And I wouldn't be surprised if they drive it back down to 88. And we could probably see recession, right? So just be careful where things are headed, especially until the end of this year. Don't get too caught up on looking up at, you know. I just don't like the fact that people are talking about investing in other things when they don't have the money to invest. And yet they're constantly trying to invest in something. Just... Be mindful of your finances and your budget and understand how you're accounting your own finances as well. Because some people just don't understand. They just jump in the loophole and they think that the money's there, but then they end up losing more because of what's going to happen at the end of this year. And so there's a lot of possibilities of what's going to happen, but I wouldn't be surprised if we go into a major recession probably for a few years until something happens and i'll explain where where i'm seeing this recession coming from why that that's it guys i hope this video makes sense and uh yeah have a great week <laughs> catch pips pet catch profits and just like i said you gotta stay positive and, and stay safe you know within your grounds and you know you never know what to expect especially for what's happening this year already so far so Arnett, stay tuned guys peace